Hello Stampers! I've got a cute little card for you today. I did this house reflection card. thought it would be perfect for somebody who's bought a new house or is moving or anything like that. Um, anything home related. So um, this would be a good one to have on hand. For my panels today I decided to use the deckled rectangle dies. Um, that gives this great edge. We used to get this edge by ripping it, but it was always a crapshoot as to what the shape of your <laughs> rectangle would come out like. So it's very easy to use the deckled rectangle dies. And that's just what we did. And we're going to get started with this project with our main panel. So I have two of these pieces panels that were cut with the deckled rectangle dies and here are the dies there's quite a few layers here so um, I use the third to the largest so this one here for the white and then I use the second to the largest for the early espresso panel so that's what I did first and I cut those out using the stamp and cut emboss machine So those dies came come in handy, very handy. And so we have that down and I'm gonna put this Earl Espresso one up for now. I'm using the Ringed with Nature stamp set and I'm using this house today for our project. That house is so easy to use because it is in two pieces. I guess I should have showed that. It's in two pieces. So that house is is one stamp and then the roof is another. So it's easy to stamp these and not have to do a lot of coloring. But first of all, I want to put a little bit of sky in our scene here. And I'm going to bring out Tahitian Tide. This is a nice cheerful blue. So I like to use it when I want to send a happy card. So I've got a blending brush here in the Tahitian Tide ink and I'm just going to add some up here in the sky area. And I'm using a circular motion. I'm leaving a little bit of that white showing in my sky area here. And that's like a third of the card, okay? I'm gonna leave the middle third with nothing on it. And then the bottom third I'm going to use a back and forth motion with this Tahitian Tide. This will be our water area. So that is our sky and our water. So we can put this Tahitian Tide up. The next thing I'm going to do is start stamping our houses. And I'm going to need a window sheet for this. My window sheet has all kinds of weird colors on it from past projects. But um, I just took a, one of the large window sheets and I cut this down. And this is probably 6 inch by 6 inch. So I like to use this to stamp on to get my reflections. But we're going to put our main house, the one right in the center, in. And I'm going to use pumpkin pie for right now. And I've got my house stamp here. And I'm going to stamp this. Uh, so the base of the house is kind of like right in the center of that white area. So there's the base of the house. And then I need um, to stamp another one upside down for our reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to load it up with that pumpkin pie. I'm going to stamp it on my plastic piece here. And then I'm just going to flip it over and I want a bit of a gap in between those two images. I'm just going to lay that down and then I'm going to rub the back of it. And there is our reflection. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe this off. I'm just wiping it off on my scrap paper. And I'm going to repeat that with other colors here. I just want to clean my stamp a bit here. And the next one will be Coastal Cabana. I'm going to do that exact same thing with Coastal Cabana. I'm going to load my stamp up. 
and I'm going to stamp that image right next to the other one. There we go. And then I'm going to do that, load that up again, stamp it on the plastic, and then put it on flip it over, put it on, and rub the back of it to transfer it. And if you find that you want it a little darker, see how light that is? I think I'm gonna do it one more time. This is easy to line up because the image is light to begin with when you put it on and rub it off on this paper. But you can line it up fairly easily and that way it comes out a little darker. So there are my two reflections. I'm gonna wipe that off, clean my stamp a bit, and we're gonna go into Orchid Oasis for our third house. So I'm just gonna stamp it just like we did the other two. Stamp it on the plastic window sheet, flip it over, give it a rub. So there are our reflections. That was pretty easy, right? And now they need some roofs, okay? So we're just going to stamp all of them in early espresso. So I'm loading that up with the roof up with Early Espresso and I need to lean in here so I can see what I'm doing. There's one. Two. There's our third one. Okay. And then we need to do the same thing for our reflective side. So I'm stamping the roof on the window sheet and I'm going to rub it on. There we go. And then I just kind of wipe it off on my scrap paper there underneath. So I don't want like multi images on the plastic. So what's nice about this technique is you don't want your reflections to be the same strength and color as your original images, so it just doesn't look right. So you want this to be much lighter down here, and this does this automatically just by transferring it with that plastic window sheet. And here is our last little rough. And there we go. So we're done with that transfers. Now we need some ground area in between the two. I'm just going to bring in this plastic sheet again. This is the easiest way. You could do this with a post-it note too if you want to put a post-it note along here. But it's nice to be able to see through this. So I'm going to take some Granny Apple Green and a blending brush. And I have the edge of this window sheet right in between the reflective side and the main side. And I'm just going to add some Granny Apple Green along the edge there just to give it a, some ground area. It's okay if a little bit gets on the bottom of your houses. Quite all right. So there's that side. Actually, it's easier to do it if you turn it upside down. So I turn that upside down. I'm going to do the exact same thing, leaving a little bit of that grassy area showing above this plastic. And then I'm going to add some color down on this side. And remember, you want to be lighter on this side because that is your reflective side. 
So there is our houses and our reflection. Now I just want to add a little, um, some water lines in the bottom. But first I think I want to add a little more color in our water. So I'm going to bring in this Orchid Oasis in a blending brush. And I'm just going to add some of that to the bottom of our water area just to give it a little more blue. There we go. And you can get as dark as you want with your water. Just be careful you don't obliviate your um, reflections there. So I think I'm going to add a little more of this Tahitian Tide down here too just over those houses. And that way um, we're going to put some water lines in here and I want them to show up. So I don't want that real light there. I want like some color. I'm going to bring in some Stampin' Blends and I have, this one is the bronze Stampin' Blend. And I'm going to use the fine point here. And we have some windows and doors. I'm just going to color in with this to make them pop. That's all the coloring I really do. I'm going to go around the doorknob on each one so you can see it still. There we go. Just to give our, our houses a little more depth there just by coloring in the windows. Really pretty easy, huh? Now I noticed in a few of my videos you'll hear a little tinkling of a bell. That is my cat's collar. She for some reason likes to get active when I'm talking. She thinks I'm talking to her. So she'll run around the room a bit. So I apologize if you hear that and you're like what in the world is that? That's her. Anyway there are the doors and windows and you can get darker if you want to use black gray, whatever colors you want to. I don't worry about doing the reflective side. I just want that darkness to be in the original ones. So I have a, um, some of the colors that are in this scene. So I have Parakeet Party, Dark Parakeet Party Stampin' Blend Marker. I'm going to use the fine point here and I'm just going to add some water lines. I'm just making different size dashes with the fine point of this marker. And you make sure you're not doing a pattern because you want to do this quickly. So there is the parakeet party. Now I'm going to bring in the dark Tahitian Tide. I'm going to use the fine point again. And I'm making just some dashes in here. And I'm trying not to put them on top of the green. And then lastly, if you have a white gel pen, I had to order some more this morning because mine is about had it. I'm just going to scribble just lightly because that's all I can get out of my pen at the moment. <laughs> some of this white gel pen. And at the pits when your gel pen conks out on you. go we got a little white a little green and a little blue for our water lines there and that is our scene in a nutshell so now we're ready to put this together just going to get rid of our inky paper here and I'm gonna take a grainy apple green Panel. I have a grainy apple green panel here, and this panel is 4 by 5.25. And I'm going to hear this early espresso deckled piece to it. I'm just going to center it up.
There we go. There is that. Now I have a Coastal Cabana piece here. This is two by four, and I'm gonna add this on. I'm just gonna put this in the center. Give it a look here. And if you have any extra, like if it's a little longer, if you didn't measure quite right, like I did here, um, just have all the extra to one side and then you can just clip it off with your paper snips or paper cutter, just so it's flush with your panel. So there is that piece. And then we want our main panel on here. Here's our main panel. And then I have a one inch square of Early Espresso. And I'm gonna take this Early Espresso piece here and I'm gonna cut it diagonally from corner to corner. So I have two triangles. And that is what I'm gonna use over here as an accent. So I'm gonna adhere these on. I'm using multi-purpose glue, but you can use whatever adhesive you like. I just kind of center it up there. It's okay if you um, just cover your green if you want to have it just a tiny bit off of this edge when putting these on. Um, that way you don't want to see that green on this side from the Coastal Cabana panel. I think that looks good. And now we're ready to bring out our main panel here. And this is an Earl Espresso card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, and I folded it in half to create my quarter card. I'm just gonna add my front of my card here on. Let's add some love on there. Just centering that up. This is a nice flat card. You don't have to worry about putting extra postage on, yay. So I have a Coastal Cabana panel here that's four by five and a quarter. And this is gonna go on the inside and you have plenty of space to add a sentiment. And there is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed this card and that you give it a try. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. Doodles.